Listening Library presents Game for Life, Troy Aikman, a Pro Football Hall of Fame biography by Clarence Hill Jr. Read for you by Fred Berman. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi Chapter 1 If you could dream up the perfect quarterback, he would look like Troy Aikman. A six foot four, 220 pound, perfectly designed prototype with Hollywood good looks. Picture a clean shaven Chris Hemsworth who plays Thor in the Avengers series. Aikman enjoyed a storybook career that lived up to every expectation imaginable. After an All-American career in college at UCLA, he was picked number one overall in the 1989 NFL Draft by the most popular team in pro sports, the Dallas Cowboys. He took them from the depths of despair to being the dominant team of the 1990s with three Super Bowl titles in four years. He ended his career celebrated as an all-time great with his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. From the outside looking in, Troy seemingly had it made from birth. He was the natural. He was destined for greatness and ultimately achieved it. But the truth is not as pretty and clean as the picture. It began with a California kid growing up dreaming of playing baseball in the major leagues. Then, at age 12, he moved with his family to rural Oklahoma, specifically to the small town of Henrietta, with a sprawling population of roughly 6,000. Once there, Troy was quickly introduced to life on the farm. He was raised on hard work, responsibility, and discipline by a father, the Babe Ruth of welders, who had no time for fun and games. That was a lifestyle that was foreign to me, Troy later said about moving to the farm. It helped teach me to embrace the difficult times. No one, I don't care who it is, ever goes through life and does not have some setbacks. Those teachings would serve Aikman well in his roundabout route to stardom. Football was not the first choice or childhood dream of Troy Kenneth Aikman, the youngest of three kids and the only boy born to Kenneth and Charlene in West Covina, California. The family soon settled in Cerritos, a suburb of Los Angeles, and Troy grew up a typical California kid. He loved to ride his bike everywhere. Sample complete. Ready to continue?